Geofabrics Australasia proudly presents a series of videos that relate to the Australian standards that are used in testing of geosynthetic products and how these tests relate to practical field applications. The standard environment for this test method is an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 65 percent plus or minus 3 percent. Five rectangular specimens per sample direction are required. Each specimen is required to be 200 millimetres wide. The specimens are sampled so that they are widely spaced as possible over the whole surface of the sample so that their positions are symmetrically different in the longitudinal and cross directions. 100 millimetres from either edge, any visually non-representative, soiled or damaged part of the sample is discarded. The length of the specimen is required to be a length sufficient for the specimens to extend at least 20 millimetres on the outside of the jaws. The mass per area unit of these specimens are recorded as per AS3706.1. Jaws with the width of at least 210 millimetres are set up on a tensile machine with a 100 millimetre gauge length. The specimen is inserted centrally in between the jaws. The specimen is then marked along the jaw ends. This allows us to determine if the specimen has slipped in the jaws. The test is started and the jaws will move apart from each other at an extension rate of 20 millimetres per minute until the sample ruptures. The tensile strength is reported in kilonewtons per metre width to one decimal place. The elongation is reported in percentage to zero decimal places. Toughness is reported in kilojoules per square metre to one decimal point. The five specimens per direction are averaged to get an end mean result for that sample. The mean, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, 5th percentile and 95th percentiles are reported. The results for the machine direction and cross machine direction are reported separately. Elongation is a function of damage susceptibility. For example, as the elongation of the geotextile increases, the risk of damage is reduced. A good example of this test is a road-based stabilisation where the geotextile is used to separate a clay subgrade, a low CBR or weaker underlying soil from a road substrate material. Another example is in a highway where the geotextile encloses a granular drainage layer over a low strength in situ soil beneath it.